We're live in Gehenna, Texas, at the magnificent H-E-L-N-L Stadium. Built by zillionaire owner, GM, and coach, Scary Clones. He describes it as a Roman Coliseum theme park, slaughterhouse, art museum, and secret bordello all in one. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Tokyo Terminators take on the Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Oh, Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini-me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. The way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And that'll bring up second and one. And he just slipped away like a grease pig. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And it's first and ten. That's a pass and catch for no gain. Then how is it a pass? Second down and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Third and two. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Briggs, because that was a Sonic Blast dirty trick. And first down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Man, what a hit that was! 
First and ten. Second down and long. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. First and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. for a first down. It looks like we've got a penalty here. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And that's another turnover for the defense. Rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's Cooper Knight at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me. On a kind of not clenching his cheeks though. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. 
Second and three. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And it's first and ten. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. And that'll bring up second and one. And I've had, I'm running out of it. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. First and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. Second down and six. game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. Simple. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. There's a bloody red head on the field. No, that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. And this guy looks like Thor on... Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose.
And it's first and ten. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. Second down and two. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And it's first and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. And pass was good for 10 yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Receiver and deflected the ball. Third down and a sliver. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. Well, the offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of a man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. First down and one. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. He's not going down. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The 10. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well, And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain.
Second down and ten. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up third. And so that's the two-minute warning. And that'll bring up third and one. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, man, he really wants it. He did it. He scores. And with that amazing run, he first through the end zone for six. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second, the quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be up. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Did you see the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, can I kill him? Nicely done for a first down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma.
Biden was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. First down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back to the start of the second half. It's a close game and should be a battle to the end. The teams line up for the kickoff. And my second half buzz is just kicking in right on time. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast and like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way! The offense has no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. And it's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. And that'll be second down and four. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten.
pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up second and one. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. First and ten. Oh, and he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nice. Now these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls, and by talk I mean stomp them into the ground. They're back up here on first offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. see a lot of carnage today folks these teams have bad blood between them apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck raccoon rabies blood is my thought always a player's favorite second down and ain't gonna happen partner and this guy is supercharged with electricity and he was stuck to him like glue oh my god a man from prison just came out of the field that's the ref you idiot let's see what the penalty is First and eight to go. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's almost poetic, Grim. Like a high school. I'm a high school on Silla. I am a hell of a fella. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. That ball was almost intercepted.
second down and ten. Wow, he took like a thousand points of shock there. He did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Ford, the ant murderer. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. First and ten. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And then put six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, man! You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Uh, and it plows forward for the two-point conversion. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know throw interceptions but when I do it's when the game oh and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him there's a bloody red head on the field now that's their red penalty marker bricks yeah. looks like this one's coming back First down and three. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second and three. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim.
Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. The offense is down to their last two receivers. Once they're gone, it's game over, baby. Ah, those poor receivers. They're really getting a snot kicked on them. Someone ought to just shoot them, put them out of their misery. Now, nah, don't worry, that's coming. And it's first and ten. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to manage the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow. And bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Ghost the third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Second down in a very lot. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And he punched his way out of that. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fan. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. There's nothing for Brady. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And he just at this rate the cube. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's
It's first and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. And the quarterback throws it. Pow! With the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And he's off to the races. He's at the 30. Boom! And like the Titanic. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. The offense is down to their final receiver. They'll be playing shorthanded for the rest of the game. Ah, and if they lose him, will they have to forfeit? Oh, talk about pressure. I'm going to have to take the value before this one ends. Hey, y'all been out on me. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh, he just got crushed. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. time like a jack the offense is down to their last quarterback if they lose him they lose the game third down and three and he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive the ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. Yeah, that sounds like a good job. He's right at home here taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swiping money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, you don't do that. Brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.